What's good everybody, the voice of the WGC back in the building. It's time to have another talk. Let's get straight into the business, man. So, my boy, what's the my boy, what's the status has been circling around the bird app quite a bit. He is currently attempting to implement intergender matches in WWE 2K23. If you do not know what an intergender match is, it's basically the ability for a woman superstar to face against, to go up against a men's superstar without a mixed tag team match. Just a regular, any type of match, woman versus men. Now, before I start this video, don't start that bullshit about, ooh, unsanctioned TV, cancel unsanctioned TV. Don't start any of that bullshit. This isn't about no domestic shit. This is about none of that, all right? I don't condone any of that bullshit in real life. This is a video game, all right? I'm talking about specifically the video game. So don't start that bullshit, please. But let's get into the video. So as you can see on this screenshot, we have um, Carmelo up against Cody Rhodes. And this is a 1v1. And I'm happy that he's going out of his way to do this. I'm happy. We have not been able to do this in so long. I believe it's been since probably like 2K14, I believe. Because I remember it like it was yesterday. You used to could go into the lab and do something with the with the creations. And you can get women's into men's matches. Like It, it was a crazy time on 360. I saw all kinds of women's in the men's chambers. It was some wild shit, man. But... It seems like he pissed a lot of people off and he lost a good amount of people, I think, including 2K. And this just proves how fickle individuals are. You see, the IWC and the WGC have some of the most fickle fucking fans on the planet. Wrestling fans in general, just fickle. Somebody could be providing you the world. And you'll take it for granted. You see, what's the status of been pro providing content for WWE 2K games since probably like what? 2K15? He's doing the Lord's work, bruh. And y'all at this man's neck because he's trying to implement intergender matches? You should be at 2K for not for making creators having to do things like this. A creator should not have to go out of their way to have to do this. This should already be in the game. All right. If AEW Fight Forever, I mean, I get it. The game isn't out yet. But if you've seen the trailer. You've seen the footage. They're going to do it on their first game. Not their second game, not their third game, not their tenth game, but their first game. If Fight Forever can do it, 2K, what's the holdup? Why can't we have intergender matches? What's the big deal? What's the big deal? And this is what we've been talking about. The creators every single year have to pick up 2K slack. There's always something outdated. Because 2K does not want to make their game a live service game. And not only that, they want to lock things behind my faction. They literally curb stump. They literally take a massive shit on the consumer every single year. And the creators have to be like, all right. They have to put on their boots, put on their hard hats. And they have to get to work and fix all the errors of 2K every single year. It never fails. Just think about this. What would Universe Mode be like if you took away all these content creators and you took away community creations? Would you still be playing Universe Mode? Please answer that question. Would you still play Universe Mode if there was no community creations and there were no there was not one single individual, not one credible individual to make cause for you, would you? There was nobody to make your AW superstars. 
There was nobody to make your WCW superstars. There was nobody to make your New Japan superstars. Would you still be playing universe mode? I don't fucking think so. So why, when this individual wants to do something like this, all of a sudden, once again, just like us, public enemy number one? Why is that? You see, you see it right here. Why would you want this though? Um, because it's happened before. And I don't want to hear any of this bullshit talking about some, oh, when was the last time? Just shut up with that. It doesn't matter when was the last time it happened. The fact is it's a part of WWE history. It is etched in history forever. It happened. Okay. That's all that matters. It happened. You can still have simulation gameplay and still have features, game modes, match types from back in the day. Everything doesn't specifically have to be focused on this current time period. It's ridiculous. So... Trying to make intergender matches possible... He's getting a bunch of comments. Some people like it. Some people hate it. And then some people were saying, oh, 2K might not 2K might not like this. Who cares, bro? Like, honestly, who cares? Let's read what he has to say. I'm not, I'm not really sure why some of you took this as me taking a shot at 2K. It wasn't. There's no difference in corporate's eyes from this and adding beards updated. Hairs to characters in the game, it's the same offense. So keep that in mind. Why you get excited when your favorite model is updated with methods. I have no issue with anyone that works in these games, but it isn't my responsibility to monitor their community creations. I'm a fan of the WWE games franchise for years. I've been uploading managers and NPCs since like WWE 2K15. The real ones remember. I remember. The real ones remember the playable Lana. I do this for free because I want everyone to have access to the dope shit this game can do. Slash have. I break game limits because it's fun to me. I'm a data miner slash modder because it's fun to me. So please refrain from this whole 2K might not like this while downloading updated models from me and hitting characters from me. To them, it's all the same. That's my last two cents on this subject. And he just... That's, real, that's as real as it gets. Because... You cannot sit here and continue to download calls from this man, but you try to condemn him for trying to implement intergender matches. You can't do that. You can't do that. Because that's what a lot of indi individuals do in this society. They'll claim they try to cancel you, but when, but when the doors close, they'll be right there mooching off your ass 24-7, 365. And that's exactly what's happening here. People were at this man's neck talking about, why would you want this? Why would you want this? But yet, you're sitting here downloading all of his models that he took time out of his day to upload. How stupid do you look? Why would you want those, huh? Why would you want those, huh? How stupid do you look? So fickle, man. Like, seriously. Talking about some 2K, 2K might not like this. Who cares? Who cares? And I believe, like I said, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but the street's saying that 2K unfollowed him. And that just proves how petty 2K is. Let me just check. Let me make sure. Let me see. I don't see two. Let me see. Let me let me make sure. Do y'all see two K? I don't see two K. I'm pretty sure we follow two K. Let me see. Yeah, we follow two K. So. It appears that 2K unfollowed him for this too. I I guess that's what, that's what the streets saying. But 
This is what I'm talking about. When a multi-billion dollar corporation sees an individual that is defying game limits and giving the community what they want, when they see an individual doing something and providing for the community something that they can't capitalize off of, it grinds their gears, you know? All these content creators that are uploading all these models that they wish they could just lock behind my faction all at once. It grinds their gears. It's the same thing with Madden. It's the same thing with Madden, bro. It's the same thing with NBA 2K. You think that 2K cares about you, bro? You think that 2K is really losing sleep over you? Honestly, you really think that? 2K does not give a fuck about you, bro. They don't. It's all about the dollar bills, y'all. That's all it's about at the end of the day. So what happened here as 2K sees that what's the status is going out of his way to defy limits once again. <laughs> and they hate it. They hate it. Now watch this. Watch how this goes. Watch how this goes. I don't know if it'll happen, but I wouldn't even be shocked if 2K decides to re-implement intergender matches now that what's the status is trying to crack the code. Because this is how this is how it goes. This is how it goes. Because they get so mad. They it, they are so bitter and conceited. They get so mad when you beat them to the punch. That's all it is. That's all it is. They're mad because what's the status beat them to the punch. That's all it is. 2K. As much as you love money, you can't be mad at him. It's your fault. It's your fault. You've had how many games to do this? 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, and now 23. And you still, you still can't get it right. You still can't add intergender matches. It's not what's the status fault. You can't condemn him for this. This is your fault, 2K. Why be bitter? Why unfollow them? Just realize that you got to go back to the drawing board. And you got to get to work. As simple as that. I mean, I get it. War games may have took a lot out of the dev team. I get that. I get that. But, come on now, intergender matches, we're not asking you to add any crazy ass structures. We're not asking you to build a 70 foot tower in, w in WWE 2K. We're simply asking you to let women play against men. It's that simple. You see, as online players... This means a lot to me, too, because I don't believe in restrictions. Like I said, I once again, I don't come. I don't condone this behavior in real life. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. It is fucking disgusting. I don't condone this in real life, but it's a video game and I don't believe in restrictions. If a woman wants to play with a man in WWE 2K without being limited to a mixed tag match, they should be able to. They should be able to. No excuses, 2K. No excuses. I want to be able to have fun matches with the ladies too, man. Why do they have to go through all these hula hoops, all these shortcuts, just to play against men? It's ridiculous, 2K. And why do we have to go through all of these hula hoops and all these shortcuts just to play against them? Oh, it has to be a women's match only. Oh, it has to be a mixed tag team match. Why, 2K? Why? Give us a valid reason why you can't add this simple match type to the game. After all these years. Why? Why? Like I said, as online players, I believe in freedom. I believe in pure creativity. And I believe in no restrictions. I want each match to be competitive as possible. And I think that everybody deserves a chance. I don't care if you're a woman, and I don't care if you're a man. 
I think that we should all be able to play together at the end of the day because that is what this shit is all about. Imagine paying 60, 70, 80, 120 dollars for a video game and you can't even play against the opposite sex without being locked in that particular match. How fucking stupid is that? <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. Just think about that for a second. So anyways, let's continue. He goes on to say, he goes on to release another gym. Here's an update of all the hidden characters that cannot be downloaded from Community Creations. Alva Moreno. Baron Blade, Brooklyn Van Braun, Chase, Chosen, Cole Quinn, El Mago, El Oranario, El Mago Jr., Fanny Gabriel Slade, Geneva Rose, Hector Flores, Josie Jane, Justine, King Booker, King Nakamura, Corey Klein, La Canguita, oh, La Cangrigita Loca, La Jenganza, Mark Thompson, Miz 2011, Nikki Cross 2020, Odyssey Riff, Paragon J. Pierce, Rey Mysterio 2009, Rey Mysterio 2005, Rey Mysterio 2006, Robin Ray, Seth Rollins 2020, Seth Rollins 2022, Slade, Tasia Meadows, Tavish, Tom, Undertaker 2020, and last but not least, Undertaker 1995. Hmm. And you know what this means, right? This means that you can't get these. And most likely what is about to happen is 2K is going to lock this shit behind my faction. Because not too long ago, these, the majority of these, if not all of these, were playable. And look how fast it took. For 2K to be like, ah, 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 not so fast. You see, 2K is all bragging and boasting about how this, every single year, oh, this is going to be the largest WWE 2K roster ever. But yet, you're setting all these limitations on. It's crazy. Oh, you can't download this, you can't download this. This shit is crazy. But y'all don't, but y'all don't want to believe it, right? But Unsanctioned TV is just talking out of their ass, right? But Unsanctioned TV doesn't know shit, right? We try to tell you what's about to happen. We try to tell you their main focus and what they care about. At the end of the day, what they want to do is maximize profits on my faction. They want everybody playing my faction. And at the end of the day, if that game mode gets the traction that, it, that 2K wants it to get, all the other game modes are getting shitted on. And they probably will be removed. They want it to be a juggernaut just like NBA 2K, my team. They want it to be a juggernaut just like Madden Ultimate Team. But hey, keep on talking out of your ass in the comment section and saying we don't know anything and that we're just talking. Keep on. Keep on. Keep on. Please, do. At WWE games, can you guys unlock these? I want 0506 Rey Mysterio so I can use him versus 03 Cena. And I also want, and also why is 98K and gone for two years now? They don't want to, bro. Maybe tag some 2K devs and tell them we don't, we do not like this. I watched an interview where a dev said not a lot of, not a lot of gets back to us or takes a long time. What's the status replies? Them dudes ain't going to listen to me. But it's just unsanctioned TV, right? They're not even listening to one of their top creators. But it's just unsanctioned TV, right? It's just us, right? It's just us, right? It's not just us. They don't care about us. They don't care about what's the status. And they don't care about you, the viewer, either. At the end of the day, the only thing they care about... Is the dollar dollar bills. It doesn't matter how bare bones. Or how 
ass the game is. It doesn't matter how bad the servers are. All they care about is money. That's it. This is sad, man. Real talk. But I'm about to go ahead and wrap this up. But I'm going to go ahead and showcase a few names that you that you guys should definitely follow if you want your community creations fixed. You want to boost up your roster for universe mode or you just want to boost up your roster in general. Find some new models to play with. So number one, definitely, definitely follow your boy. What's the status? Got my boy Zach or Zadik right here. Got that boss talk right here. Yeah, yeah. Mercedes Monet. Iconic. 2K. Joe Mashups. And Tony. If you want your women's fix. I know there's definitely more out there, but... These are just the main ones that we follow right now. But I definitely recommend following them. And for those of y'all fickle individuals out there, you got to do better. Seriously. You got to do better. There is absolutely no reason why you should be under this man's comments trying to criticize him for giving us something that has been needed in these games for a while just let him do his thing man because i'm telling you if all these content creators decided to call it quits and they decided to give up on wwe 2k cr creating cars altogether and they just said enough of this and said that 2k that, that they were tired of how 2k is harassing them you guys will be in shambles Seriously, you would be in fucking shambles. All y'all saying that the game is pitch perfect. All y'all saying that the game is right where it needs to be. That the game is at, in a, at a perfect setting. You would be in shambles if these creators weren't doing their job. The, the creators who sit here and take time out of their day and make cause for these video games. And pick up 2K as Slack. They have been the backbone for WWE 2K games for the past few years. They've been the backbone since day one. And you know it's true. And y'all tried to say, oh no, no, no. Come on now, bro. I'ma just go ahead and scroll. Oh, he here he already did it. He already did it. This is the exact Batista I was looking for. He already did it. Appreciate that. He already did it. <laughs> he already fucking did it. This is what I'm talking about. 2K is going to give you all types of excuses. They're going to keep beating around the bush. Telling you why they can't do this themselves. Why we can't get all these retro models. They're going to keep giving you excuse after excuse after excuse. The reality is they don't give a fuck about you. They don't care. And the creators will continue to be the backbone of WWE 2K games.